So welcome to this third video on the uh, Gambler's Ruin uh, slash Random Walk problem. Okay, so in the previous video I finished by showing you that um, if we have any two solutions of the difference equation, which was uh, P of I is equal to uh, P, uh, which is the probability of A moving forward, uh, P I plus 1, uh, plus 1 minus P, uh, P I minus 1. Okay, and I showed you that any two solutions, uh, well, um, if you have two solutions of this, then any linear combination is also a solution, and that's uh, analogous to the general solution of differential equations, where in order to satisfy every possible boundary condition, you need that scope in the um, uh, in the general solution space. Okay, uh, so we showed here that. Um, the uh, solutions were of the form uh, a i, where a satisfied the equation a minus 1 over 2p squared is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2p, and we saw that this implied that a was either equal to 1, or a was equal to uh, minus 1, um, well, or basically you square root both sides, and if you get the positive here, you get that it's equal to 1. Uh, if you get the negative here, you'll get negative 1, and then you'll get um, you'll add on 1 over 2p to this side, and you'll get two lots of 1 over 2p, so that will give you plus uh, 1 over p. Okay, so we get 1 over p minus 1, uh, which we could rewrite as 1 minus p over p. Now, uh, you'll notice instantly here that there is um, there is a flaw in this argument. Um, oh, sorry, no, no, no. Uh, ignore me. Uh, this this is fine. Uh, so we get this. That there are two solutions. Uh, one solution is a i is equal to a one to the power of i, which is just one. So one is a solution. That's not a very interesting solution. It certainly doesn't satisfy our boundary conditions. We also have another solution. So we'll call it b i. Uh, which is equal to 1 minus p over p uh, to the i, and then any linear combination is also a solution, so alpha a i uh, plus beta b i is also a solution, so that is equal to alpha times 1, uh, which is all oh, 1 to the i, but that doesn't matter, plus beta 1 minus p over p to the i. So now we're looking good. Now we're looking just like in differential equations where all we need to do is solve for alpha and beta such that p of 0 is equal to 0 and p of n is equal to 1. Okay, so p of 0, stick in 0, this goes to 1, so you get the alpha plus beta, which is p of 0, must equal 0, and p of n gives us alpha plus beta uh, 1 minus p to the p to the power of n is equal to 1. So now just simultaneous equations. Uh, this one gives us that alpha is equal to negative beta. So negative beta plus beta 1 minus p to the power of p, uh, sorry, over p to the power of n is equal to 1. Factor out the b and you get a uh, beta rather and you get 1 minus p over p to the power of n. Um, let me just move the paper up. Uh, plus, sorry, minus 1 is equal to 1, and that implies that beta is equal to 1 over 1 minus p to the over p to the n minus 1. And then we also know that alpha was equal to negative of that, so we just put negative 1 of 1 minus p over p to the n minus 1. Okay, therefore the general solution p of i well, no, sorry, not the general solution, our specific solution now, which satisfies our boundary conditions, is equal to negative 1 over 1 minus p to the p to the n. So I'm just sticking these uh, numbers into our original uh, equation for the solution here. Uh, that number is alpha plus the beta, which is 1 over 1 minus p over p to the n minus 1 times... Uh, now uh, we have 1 minus p over p to the power of i. Okay.